All right, we're back. Okay, now we have, um, I can write historical fiction narratives. We have our setting, we have our main character, we have some minor characters or supporting characters. And now today we're gonna need to work on some con, excuse me, conflict. Think about the conflict in Soft Rain. Conflict is a problem. Now in Soft Rain, there might be a problem every chapter, but we're not writing a book. We're just writing a narrative, an essay. So we probably want one major conflict. Now, what will your conflict be? I think of it this way, that I can use uh, somebody wanted, but so. And my somebody is going to be my main character. And that's the grandmother. Her name is Adsila. And I remembered that one of the things she wanted was to protect her family. So I'm going to be specific. She wants to protect little fire, the two-year-old. Now, the but, something's going to happen. Something big is going to happen. And in my story, um, the something that's going to happen is that the white men are going to come in and they are going to grab little fire and go out with him. So, but now just like soft rain, she calls the white men something because she doesn't know their name. So she looks at what they look like. And I'm going to call him shining belt buckle because that's the thing that's going to stand out to Odsela, the grandmother, but shining belt buckle. grabs little fire. Okay. Now, I do want some resolution to this, but that's going to be my major conflict. Adsila wants to protect little fire, but Shining Belt Buckle grabs little fire and runs out with him so, Adsila has to make a plan. Remember I told you her, main, her name means blossom and she's going to blossom and change. So, she might have been fearful, but she's getting ready to make a plan. So, Adsila makes a plan. Now, she is going to become um, much more assertive. And she is going to think of a plan to save her grandson. Now, we're going to, I want you to get this part finished today. I want you to think of what your major conflict is going to be. And then we're going to make a story mountain. So I'm going to go ahead and draw it so you can be thinking about it. Because the story, it cannot start here. It can't start with this major conflict. It's going to start down here and we're going to build up to the major conflict and then we're going to slide back down to our resolution. So today, get your conflict or your problem kind of mapped out. Then to, uh, shortly, we're going to start on our story mountain so that we can get our stories flow going. So I want you to think back. I do want to show you this at how soft rain begins. It does not begin with this huge conflict. It begins down here at the bottom. So listen to the beginning. Hurry, pet, hurry, soft rain called, running into the cabin with the puppy at her heels. Grandmother, tell me a story before I go to school, she whispered. Picking up the small wiggly dog, she knelt beside grandmother's rocking chair. There's no time for your story this morning, mother chided. You know you stayed outside playing with Pet too long. You should have come at once when I called. She handed Soft Rain her deerskin pouch. Here's your food. Holding the pouch close to her nose, Soft Rain sniffed. Fresh cornbread. Now, that's how the story begins. It doesn't begin scary. Now, you can. You can begin scary. But it just begins with, like, how her day begins. So, my story's going to begin with a normal day in the longhouse because that's part of my setting. But then 
pretty quickly we're going to get to our major problem in my story because my story is not a book. It's just a story. All right, get this part mapped out. You're somebody wanted but so. Go ahead and draw your mountain and be thinking about how you're going to get to the climax of your story to the really big part that is your butt. But this big thing happened.